Hi, in this particular clip, uh, I want to kind of act out in a, a drama. Let's imagine that, that I'm a sales rep and I'm calling on a customer and the customer, this happens to be the once a quarter or once twice a year time of, thing, time of year when they kind of think it's time to go out and check some prices. And so they basically, in so many words, say, look, I love you, dude. And, you know, you, you know you're, you're a key supplier and so forth, but, you know, times are tough and I've got to... You know, I'm under a lot of pressure and, you know, I really want you in the business, but, you know, your competition's gotten more aggressive. And uh, so what I want to do is kind of give you a last look and if you can just meet the price, you can keep it. Or maybe I won't play that exactly. I'll just say, you know, you're a little high and you need to be a little bit more competitive. What can you do for me? And I'm sitting there thinking, oh, my gosh, if I try to stand my ground and I call their bluff and they switch, I'm going to lose all the business. So we tend to, in a, in a kind of a vacuum, we tend to generalize and awfulize and get kind of freaked out. So my first reflex is just by time to say, well, look, let me, let me, you know, let me get back to you. I'll, I'll check with my boss or whatever, and then I run back. And, and really, without even thinking about it, I'm an advocate for the customer as to why we ought to cave and, and give them a better deal. As opposed to, wouldn't it be great if I was just waiting? waiting for this opportunity to sort of make my day. And when they say, said, gave me this offer, I'd say, you know, uh, that actually bothers me, uh, you know, for two reasons. But the one I want to focus on right now is I do know that there's one thing you can get from my company that you can't get anywhere else. And that's me personally. And I want to believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to believe that over the last three, four, five, six months or five years, there have been a number of things that I have proactively done, get here early, stay late, been creative, whatever, to help solve problems you've had, to make you personally look good, to save your company money, to improve your uptime economics, your customer satisfaction, retention economics, basically build your bottom line and probably grow your top line too through customer retention economics. And for all that extra, I mean, fine, all, 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 lot, lot, all my competition, I'm sure they're very good at fighting fires. If there's a problem, they take care of it, as I would too. But proactively, I, I can specifically remember one, two, three, four, five. And that's why I think it's, it's sort of payback time of, of that incremental profit I've put to your bottom line. I would like a share of that because I've helped to create it. So what's wrong with giving me last look and an extra point just for me? So in a sense, that would be... Uh, naked, unadulterated salesmanship, but the truth of the matter is we don't want to be in that spot reacting. Ideally, as we are doing proactive things to build their bottom line and improve their service value proposition, because we understand the supply chain math and the building blocks and how our service does lower these things, we've been doing this proactive making our service and our service benefits visible for some period of time. So it, it doesn't really even happen. You know, if the customer even, they feel, they would feel a little bit timid. They, they wouldn't say, here's the last look, meet the price. They might say, gee, times are tough. Could you be a little more competitive? And we'd say, well, no. Uh, you know, if, if you really want a better deal, how about plan B? And that's where we pivot from, you know, arm's length relationship and, and bid, bark, and buy to let's get married. Our service is, is, our track record is so good. You know you can trust us. So why don't you put all of your your purchasing eggs in one basket, and let's really go to work on getting our cost to serve down so much and your total procurement cost down so much so we can actually give you a lower price, improve your uptime economics, and so forth. So this is a chance to sort of try to pivot. It's like price shopping judo to pivot into service value chain uh, consulting. And that's really the salvation of, 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 uh, of product-centric sales reps going forward. You know, to go out and say, what kind of feature benefit information do you need on commodity products? The answer is none. Um, to say, uh, what other kinds of information it, things can I take care of you? Well, none, 24-7. I get on your website and I get everything I want. I talk to your inside salespeople and they get these massive databases and they get answers about whatever I want. I can Google and find out all sorts of information. So what is the next big need it's unfilled that our customers have, and I think it's, you know, they need to get a better total economic value uh, with better uptime economics and so forth. So that's the goal, is to turn uh, the, the, the here's last look into a win-win uh, going forward kind of relationship. Thank you.